hello everyone in this session uh, we'll be discussing about cleans construction uh, as in the previous sessions we have studied the velocity and acceleration analysis of various mechanisms using graphical approach in the same way here we'll be dealing with the another graphical approach given by professor clean to determine the velocity and acceleration of slider crank mechanism as in this figure we can see a slider crank mechanism oab so using clean's construction we will determine the velocity and acceleration of slider crank mechanism okay in the last few lectures uh, we have determined how to calculate or how to generate the velocity diagram using graphical approach for a slider crank mechanism so in that we got the velocity diagram as oab where ob represents the velocity of b with respect to o oa small oa represents velocity of a with respect to o and vector small a b represents velocity of b with respect to a in this figure 2 we have rotated the velocity diagram by 90 degree it has been intentionally done i will tell you why and uh, this is the acceleration diagram that we have obtained using graphical approach so now we'll make velocity and acceleration diagram using cleans construction let's see how it's been done first of all we'll draw a slider crank mechanism draw line ob then oa as a crank then join a to b uh, make a slider crank mechanism uh, so this oab is a slider crank mechanism so now first of all to draw velocity diagram using cleans construction what we'll do is first of all draw a line om perpendicular to ob such that it intersect the line extended line of BA this BA is the connecting rod line such that it intersect the line BA at M now this OAM is the velocity triangle very simple what we did is we just based on our configuration we have drawn a slider crank mechanism first we extended draw a line om perpendicular to this ob then we extended this line ba such that it meets at m this oam is a velocity triangle or you can say cleans velocity diagram now how will we make the acceleration diagram we will prove it later that how it is similar to the velocity diagram that we have obtained by simple graphical approach now to draw a acceleration diagram first of all take a as center and draw a circle with radius equals to am then what we did is we took a center a and radius equals to am we have drawn a circle then take ab as diameter this ab as diameter and draw second circle to intersect the first circle at point P and T what we did is we draw another circle of diameter AB such that it intersect the previous circle at P and T now extend this line PT to R located on OB and join PR we have drawn a 
circle of diameter AB which is intersecting the previous circle at P and T we have extended this line till R where R is the point on this OB and Q is the point on AB clear join this O A Q R this O A Q R quadrilateral is it visible O A Q R this is the acceleration diagram that we have obtained using various graphical approaches in our previous session so it is very easy to draw the slider crank mechanisms velocity and acceleration diagram so now i will prove that how this aom is similar to the velocity diagram that we have already obtained in the previous session and how this quadrilateral aorq is the required acceleration diagram first of all let's do with velocity diagram as uh, in the figure 2 I have shown that this OBA is a velocity triangle and I have rotated it through 90 degree and this figure OA dash B dash is similar to OAM that means triangle AMO is similar to triangle A dash B dash O and we know that if two triangles are similar then the ratios are in equal proportion so a1 b1 upon am is equals to ob1 upon om is equals to oa1 upon oa and it is equals to angular velocity of the link that is omega so that means a1 b1 is equals to omega into am and ob1 is equals to omega into om what is a1 b1 what is a1 b1 it is velocity of b with respect to a so velocity of b with respect to a is omega into am in the same way what is ob1 from the velocity triangle o b1 this is omega into om and it is velocity of b with respect to o in the same way what is oa1 it is velocity of a with respect to o that is o a1 is omega into capital o a clear so using clean's construction uh, we have drawn a velocity diagram so now we'll prove uh, the acceleration diagram also as acceleration diagram uh, of the slider crank mechanism was drawn uh, using the graphical approach where ob is the acceleration of b with respect to o and o a dash is o b dash is acceleration of b with respect to o and o a dash uh, from this figure is acceleration of a with respect to o and a dash x is the radial component of the acceleration of b with respect to a and ftba is that means x b dash is tangential acceleration of b with respect to a now this quadrilateral is similar to this quadrilateral that means OR is similar to OB dash this OA is similar to OA dash AQ is similar to A dash X and QR is similar to X B dash uh, to make it more clear let me rotate it through 180 degree ok now it is uh, almost similar you can see that this aq is this a dash x though it has been rotated completely this x this qr is b dash x this ro is b dash o and this oa is o a dash now you are getting this acceleration diagram is similar to 
the acceleration diagram obtained using graphical approach and if two quadrilaterals are similar again I'll rotate it back if two quadrilaterals are similar then their ratios are in equal proportion that means OA dash upon OA is equals to A dash X upon AQ is equals to XB dash upon QR is equals to OB dash upon OR which is equals to square of angular velocity that is omega square so OA dash is equals to omega square into OA that is acceleration of A with respect to O A dash X is omega square into A Q that is radial component of acceleration of B with respect to A and X B dash is omega square into QR that is tangential acceleration of B with respect to A and O B dash is omega square into O R that is acceleration of B with respect to O and this A dash B dash is which I haven't shown her uh, is acceleration of B with respect to A now hope you are clear with the Clean's construction thank you thank you so much uh, for any query you can contact uh, me on my email id that is gaganbansil12345 at the rate gmail.com or for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel uh, that is gaganbansil thank you